So I was just casually riding my bike today for my daily hour-long bike ride, and then I see an upload from Top Gear saying that Porsche has just revealed the brand new Porsche 718 Spider RS boxer thingy. And yes, that is exactly why I am wearing a hat in today's video is because I have bike hair and it looks just absolutely terrible. And it came to me as a complete shock because Porsche usually teases whatever they are about to reveal, just like when they revealed the brand new Porsche Cayenne or the facelifted Porsche Cayenne a few weeks ago. But it being released so randomly is not a bad thing at all because Porsche, I think, just made the best sports card that has ever been made. Not why it might be, but why it is. <laughs> But subscribe down below to help me achieve my dream of becoming a successful YouTuber. I make all types of content on this channel from everything from car reviews, vlogs, to my personal opinions, to redesigning cars, to short videos, informative videos, cinematic videos, and basically every single thing a car person will want in a YouTube channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button down below again and turn on post notifications so you'll be notified every single time I make a new video. But we all know Porsche makes incredible sports cars, not just good sports cars, not just great sports cars, but incredible sports cars. They are just pure driving machines just for enthusiasts and they don't really sacrifice anything except for the pure joy of driving. Now the 911 was basically sort of the bread and butter ever since Porsche basically started the 911 but it started to get really, really, really big over the years, and now we're in the 992 generation, and we're about to be in the 992.2 facelifted generation, which is coming soon, and the 911 today is absolutely massive. Like, it's honestly surprising that this isn't classified as a small sedan, because this thing is just huge. Like, the engine still sits at the rear, it still has the 911 driving dynamics of what that car is supposed to be like, but it's just huge. It doesn't even feel like a sports car anymore, it almost feels like a baby supercar, but they still do have one car up there sleeve to still call a true sports car and that is the Cayman and Boxster sort of family if you want to call that because then there's the Cayman there's the Boxster T there's the Cayman S there's the Cayman GTS then there's the 718 Spider then there's the 718 GT4 then there's a 718 GT4 PDK version and then there's a 718 GT4 RS and now there is a 718 Spider RS which is basically not just a drop top version of the Cayman GT4 RS it is much more than that so let me explain. The 718 Spider is such a drop dead gorgeous looking car and you can also drop the top on it and it even looks really, really, really good even with the top down and we have these iconic little humps in the back and then we have a little duck bill that finishes off the design and then manual transmission, rear wheel drive, naturally aspirated flat six, front end design looking super aggressive but also elegant at the same time. It's literally like a Cayman GT4 with a convertible roof. Except honestly, it looks way, way, way better than a Cayman GT4 because the Cayman GT4, um, it's not a very beautiful looking car, but the 718 Spider, good lord, that is a gorgeous looking little machine. But Porsche decided to do the unthinkable and they already did the unthinkable with the 718 GT4 RS, which uses the GT3's engine and then put right inside the middle of the Cayman, which is something that many Porsche fans have wanted for such a long time, but they never thought Porsche would actually do it, but they did. And it's a true sports car. It's not massive like the new GT3, because obviously the new 992 GT3 is based on the 911 Carrera, which is already a pretty massive and a little bit heavy car, if you want to say that. But the new Cayman, that thing is a very, very small sports car. It's not a supercar like the 911 is now. It's just a pure sports car, and it's such a little short wheelbase with a small little chassis that just fits two passengers, not even four. Like, my brother, who is around five feet, he's like 12 years old or almost 13 years old, he can fit so comfortably in the back of a new Porsche 911, and he has for so many different times on different occasions, and I don't get how that's even possible because the 911 is supposed to be the sports car, the bread and butter of Porsche's lineup, but with the new 7 718 Spider RS. Good gosh, they just made it so much cooler than the GT4 RS because now you don't have a roof, so you can hear all 493 horsepower sing all the way up to 9,000 RPM with that 7 speed Porsche PDK dual clutch transmission. And I do wish it would have looked a little bit cleaner than it looks right now, currently in the production form, but it's basically just a drop top 718 GT4, but not really. A lot of engineering has gone into this that's not exactly the same from the Cayman. So they didn't just take the Cayman GT4 RS and then just chop the roof off. They actually had to re-engineer this thing for the convertible roof. And they actually wanted to attract a different set of buyers that's different from the Cayman GT4. No, I'm not just talking about people who want a Cayman GT4 RS except with no roof. 
they had to rework the suspension on this thing so it's more subtle than the Cayman GT4 RS because that thing was obviously the RS cars from Porsche. It's really, really harsh. It's the most extreme you can get with the Porsche model. It doesn't have a crazy swan neck rear wing like the Cayman GT4 RS. This thing uses the same duckbill spoiler that just finishes off the design straight out the back. It just looks so good. You still have the same two exhaust pipes as you have on the 718 Spider, which look just amazing integrated into that diffuser. It's just a really, really aggressive looking rear end and I really like the way Porsche integrated this. And speaking of differences, the front splitter compared to the GT4 RS is actually shorter on this than it is on the 4 RS because... Actually, I don't know. But then when you come to the sides of that, on either side of the car, on the hips if you want to call it that, they have Pagani Zana Cinque style looking air intakes. And now the GT4 RS behind the front passenger window, you had air intakes that literally go directly behind your ears and straight into the mid-engine layout. So what more could you ever want from a sports car except good looks? Short gear ratios, around 500 horsepower, six cylinders, 9,000 RPM, lightweight, small chassis, short wheelbase, amazing driving dynamics with the Porsche steering, and you can still use it every single day with the front trunk and the rear trunk because obviously this is not a rear engine, this is mid-engine, so you still get storage behind. But that is basically it for today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, please give it a like and subscribe down below to help me achieve my dream of becoming a successful YouTuber. I make all types of content on this channel for everything from car reviews, vlogs, and my personal opinions, to redesigning cars and short videos, informative videos, cinematic videos, and basically every single thing a car person would want in a YouTube channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button down below again and turn on post notifications so you'll be notified every single time I make a new video. But again, tell me your thoughts on the brand new Porsche 718 Spider RS. I know there's a lot of Porsche variants, so you're probably going to get confused with the name and I honestly had to take this clip just like three times just to get the name right. So just warning you, you're not the only one that's alone. So I do hope to see you in a future video. Again, check out all my other content. This video I had to make like super quick. So I do hope to see you in a future video and bye for now. Please subscribe lol I have big dreams on YouTube. And that car, it's one of the best Porsche, oh my gosh, 718 GT4, then there's 718 D.